Hello everyone, here is Matthias and Matthias. Happy Wednesday, Matthias. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Cool, cool. Yeah, today we want to talk about options or, yeah, at, at, for the first one I want to say or ask you, what have you traded two years ago? Can you remember? Yeah, I think I can remember. I mean, it's pretty easy. I think I took the way every trader takes. I started with Forex <laughs> because the calculation was pretty easy. Yeah. Buying like one lot per trade. It was like, okay, I only need like X pips per day mm -hmm. so I can live from trading. This was the basic idea. And of course, I tried like 100 different strategies. So if the first one didn't work out, I had the pressure to make it better and then change the strategy, things like that. So mm -hmm. I can say it went completely wrong. <laughs> um, By the way, uh, you have to say uh, the forex markets had a lot of benefits. So liquidity, twenty-four five open, and yeah, yeah. There, and small position sizes are possible. So if you trade maybe shares or stocks, you need to have more money than you can trade with forex, for example. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's true. But I mean, I was uh, working full time at this time, not like. I mean, I'm also working full time right now, <laughs> um, but um, I traded on smaller time frames. And there are like, if you come home from work, there's it's not always the time to trade mm. in every market. And yeah, this was something I really didn't recognize. And that liquidity is very important. Uh, volatility is very important. Mm, absolutely. And what have changed uh, in the last two years of what you are trading right now? Uh, what, have, what has changed? Uh, I think I changed my mindset. Um, I, I I'm changed it in the way that I now say like, I don't want to set me a target for my trading. Mm -hmm. um, I want to trade a strategy I really know and I'm comfortable with. And I also want to have time because like day trading is like you spend like 10 hours a day mm -hmm. for trading and need to wait for a spot. And I changed my mindset in the way that I said, okay, well, five to let's say seven hours per week is enough to make like 20, let's say in good years, 50% maybe. Um, and I changed to options mm -hmm. because I saw the advantage that, yeah, it's not very time consuming. And in the end, um, how can I say it? It's not necessary that I really get the right direction mm -hmm. in the market um, because I'm selling options. And yeah, that's, that's a big difference between yes. options trading being short or long. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's that's where I say okay, like twenty percent per year is is realistic, and that's yeah, that's pretty pretty enough for me. And mm -hmm. so I, I sell options, get some premium, and then I don't need to be on the right side every time. So if I'm, I'm if I'm thinking like market is like short or bearish, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to sell calls for it, and it doesn't necessarily need to really run in my direction because okay so you yeah. see more benefits in trading options than in trading let's say a cfd so contract for difference or shares or stocks not not necessarily i like trading options mm -hmm. but i i'm not the one who says like it's the holy grail yeah of I course mean, i also trade stocks um yeah and which which can also be traded uh, via CFDs, mm -hmm. and but to be honest, forex, for example, is something I've never traded the last years. Even not with uh, options, so a, a nice option yeah. trade. With? Yeah, okay, with options. Yeah. Okay, but okay. Not, not that, not and and what so. what is your opinion about the risk, or what is the biggest disadvantage in trading options? Is there something you want to mention? The biggest disadvantage. I think that you're kind of, yeah, kept in your return mm -hmm. because by selling options, you can't like scale up to, let's say, 100% a year um, because the risk then is 
too high to yeah, really almost high. infinite so this is i would yeah. say the other disadvantage uh, that the risk is almost infinite so you have to manage your positions very carefully uh, yeah. in terms of selling options of course uh, if you buy options then it's not not the case yeah of course the the risk per definition is infinite because yeah can like go like 1000 percent against you yeah <laughs> um, is it happened to you once i think the biggest loss was like 200 percent yeah okay you are on the lucky side <laughs> i can remember i had a trade with almost 700 percent of loss but yeah this is part of the game in selling options i think <laughs> yeah and this is why risk management by selling options is, is that important and yeah. of course the mindset in this case is that it's very important to not get crazy if, it's, if it happens to you yeah absolutely but on the good side is um, you have almost 70 or more percentage of winning trades with selling options so this yeah. is really fun uh, to trade it it's good for yeah. the mindset psychological is also pretty good to trade options yeah, definitely definitely it, it really helps to have like 70% winning yeah. trades. You have more lucky moments than bad moments in trading options. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So thank you, Matthias, uh, for having you. And yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Bye.